Welcome to Busy Therapy. I'm Anthony Velia, but a lot of patients call me Doc. I'm a doctor of physical therapy who specializes in vestibular rehabilitation, which means that I treat patients with dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo 40 hours every week. Let's talk. Let's talk about acoustic neuroma, also sometimes is called a vestibular schwannoma. Right away, yes, this is a brain tumor. But to be clear, this is not nearly as scary as it sounds, and very rarely is this type of tumor a threat to someone's life. In fact, most people who have this kind of tumor don't even know. They just find it by coincidence, they have it monitored the rest of their lives, and it never amounted to anything. But to start all of this information, let's get familiar with the anatomy involved in the ear and the brain. This is Earl the ear. He's a right ear, by the way, and we're going to show you what's going on. Now, when I'm looking straight ahead, my right ear is angled about here. My big floppy outer ear is out here. The long ear canal, an ear drum, which vibrates with sound to hit some bones, which vibrates the cochlea. And this snail shell is where we actually hear things. And all that hearing information gets carried down this big nerve off to the brain. But you might notice, that's only half an ear. What about this other half? So this other half of Earl, this crazy maze here, is totally separate from your sense of hearing. And this is my area, the vestibular system. This is where our balance awareness and orientation takes place 24 hours a day. These tubes here are full of fluid, very similar to ocean water, and it moves whenever you do. I always think of a hula hoop full of water. If you were to turn, all that water would move too. At each of these three dead ends, there's a little flap that acts as a sensor. Whenever you move, you can tell what direction and how much you've moved, and all that information can get sent down these nerves to the brain as well. Now deep in this area, it's not really shown, it's inside of Earl, there's a bunch of crystals that make a bed and a wall. And what they do is, if you imagine a buoy in the ocean, it's got a long rope to the bottom. If you saw it moving one way or another, you would know which way the water is moving. And these crystals, that's their job too. If you hit the brakes in the car or the plane takes off or you stand up, you can feel momentum forward, backward, even sensing gravity with the wall of crystals. So, all of that information for your balance, for your orientation, gets sent down the vestibular nerve. All of the hearing information goes down the cochlear nerve, and then it combines into the vestibulocochlear nerve. So, this vestibulocochlear nerve, it travels from the ear and takes a trip to the brain, right underneath to the brain stem, which goes down into the spinal cord. Now, with any kind of tumor, there are two big pieces of information that we certainly want to know. What's the location and what else is in that location, as well as the, is that tumor able to grow or spread elsewhere? Now, to answer one of those questions immediately, by definition, an acoustic neuroma is a benign tumor. It can't spread to other parts of the body or metastasize like a cancerous tumor potentially can. This is not a cancerous tumor. A tumor does not equal cancer and vice versa. Okay, good. So that's one big thing you don't have to worry about. But what about the location? Now, right here by the brainstem, the nerve that the tumor is made of is responsible for your balance and hearing. So if the nerve is dysfunctional, you will likely have some balance issues, hearing loss, or dizziness because the brain is not getting the same amount of information. Audiology will become your best friend for testing your hearing regularly and providing hearing aids if needed. And vestibular rehabilitation physical therapy will be there to help minimize the dizziness and give you the best balance possible. It's gonna involve taking things that you struggle with 
and challenging you in those areas harder and harder until you can get back to what you want to be able to do. I have a whole video describing VRT or vestibular rehabilitation therapy in a lot more detail if you're curious about that. Now, that can happen whether or not that neuroma is growing or staying the same size. If the neuroma is growing large enough, which is not always the case, it could threaten to start squishing the brainstem, which is extremely dangerous. This is why regular imaging and hearing tests are so important to assess the status of the tumor. An ear, nose, throat doctor, or ENT, will be watching over this entire situation, making sure that it's either staying the same or if it is growing, it's not dangerous yet. If the tumor is one of the few that does seem to be continuously growing, what do we do? The solution here is surgically remove the problem. The details will depend on each case, but often the entire nerve may be severed. This means that hearing will essentially be gone and you will lose virtually all the balance sense on that side. This is a huge change. You will almost definitely need some inpatient rehabilitation first, as in you're spending nights at the hospital or rehab center learning to just stand and walk again. Once you are out of the hospital, you will then definitely be needing some outpatient therapy, hanging out with a PT at a clinic and getting some homework that you can do at home. You do have two ears after all, so even though one has been lost, you still have the other. This is similar to the treatment given for vestibular neuritis. I have a video on that too, which is an inner ear nerve infection instead of a tumor. But instead of it being 25, 50% damaged, that vestibular system is now 100% gone. The good news though, if the tumor is completely removed, the nerve's gone, the tumor's gone, it's all clear then there is no longer any concern in terms of the tumor. And in terms of balance and dizziness, there's nowhere to go but up. From then on, the ear and the nerve are in a stable state, meaning that nothing's gonna be changing from there. So the more you train your brain to compensate for the loss, the less aware of any deficits you'll be, and the more stable you can be. As one of my favorite examples of any patients have ever had, I had a wonderful 58 year old man. He came into the clinic shortly after he was done with his inpatient rehab. He had had the nerve cut and he was pretty unsteady on the first day. He had to keep his head still to walk and not lose balance. But I gave him homework to challenge his dizziness and balance, stuff that was tricky for him then. Each time he came in for the next few weeks, I gave him slightly harder homework, slightly harder homework again and again. After several weeks of that, I had to kick him out of the clinic because he was able to do flips on a kayak again. It's a really important skill to be able to do a rollover if you want to get back to white rod or rafting. And that was one of his main goals. He was a big fan of kayaking, so that's what we challenged him to do. And now obviously, this is a pretty extreme example, but he did lose 100% of his left ear. And with therapy alone, we got him to a point he was compensated and he could do something so cool. I don't even know if I can do that. And I have two. It is the brain that ultimately determines the ability to orient us, to keep us upright, even if there's less information coming in. The brain can be trained with just one if you give it enough time and enough challenge. To summarize, an acoustic neuroma is a benign tumor that is made out of the nerve from the ear to the brain. While some do grow larger, most of them don't. They just sit there. But any of them, regardless of size, can interfere with the functions of the ear, leading to dizziness, imbalance, or hearing loss. You're going to want to have regular imaging and hearing tests as long as that tumor is still there. So you want on your team an ENT, a physical therapist who knows vestibular rehab, and an audiologist to keep track of things, keep you safe, and minimize symptoms. If you're one of the few who needs it, surgery is required to cut that tumor out, and essentially, that whole ear may be gone. But then, the ear is in a pretty stable state, 
meaning we just need one more big bout of therapy to get your brain to compensate, and then more or less, balance-wise, dizziness-wise, back to normal. A lot of people are scared when they first have dizziness because they think that there is some kind of tumor. The truth is, very rarely is that the case. But even the classic vestibular tumor is pretty manageable. Thank you so very much for watching. Always stay curious about these incredible bodies that God has designed for us so well. Leave a question in the comments below because I would love to know what you all want to learn. Subscribe to Dizzy Therapy for more videos in the future. And remember, dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo are never normal. So visit your ENT and vestibular physical therapist as soon as possible so you can get back to moving freely. Have a great rest of your day and may God bless you with stability throughout your dizzy therapy.